What's up, Wayne Barron here with DarkFakes.net, and we are inside of Adobe Animate CC, and this is what we're going to be doing today. We got some text that are falling down and sort of bouncing as soon as it hits our floor, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to do a HTML5 canvas. Click OK. Come over here and choose our text tool. We want to type in a D. Click A. Click out R. Click K. Okay, choose our selection tool. Well, first we want to come over here and grab a hold of our line tool. And we want to draw a line going across. Now grab a hold of our black selection tool. Grab a hold of our K. Drop it down here. Our R. Put it there. Now we need to convert each one of these letters to a symbol. So select our K. Hit F8 and change this to a K. Do the same thing with the rest of them. Okay, if you get to where you you cannot click on it for whatever reason, uh, you can see this little uh, four-pointed cross. You want to make sure that it shows that four-pointed cross because sometimes, for some reason, it won't click on the very first letter or either one of the letters. So you just make sure that you can see that cross and then you can manipulate it. Okay, so... Put each one of them done. Let's select them. Right click and choose distribute to layers. Come over here to the timeline. We want to come over here to our come over here to 35. Go all the way up. Right click, convert to or insert frames, and then select them once again. And then come over here and insert classic tween. We didn't uh, select our top one because we're not going to have animation on our line. We come over here, select all of these, drag them up to the top. Come out here, select this one, and drag in our D. And uh, we actually want to move it a little bit more. Hitting your F5 key will create extra frames. So now it will drop in like so. And then let's come out to our one. Okay, let's come over here, and we're going to select our transformation tool. And now with our transformation tool, if we can ever select it, we're going to squish it, drag it down, use our arrow keys, and then make it a little bit fat so that it basically looks like this, squish, and then we're going to come back out, and then we're going to select our text, we're going to drag it up to here, and then we're going to bring it back out and then bring it back to where it used to be and then we're going to drag it up let's not go up that high and then come down one more time click and drag it down yeah, I really think there is a bug inside of the um, Adobe Animate because, as you can see, sometimes we got to actually click into the symbol itself in order to select it. Okay, so this is basically what our animation looks like. And so what we want to do now is that we want to make our animation just look a little bit better. So we're going to come right here. We're going to add in a frame here. And then we're going to add in a frame there. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Now we're going to select our frames. Click and drag to right there. We're going to come over here and we're going to set this to 100. Okay, and that right there is going to add in an easy ease to it. To where it's going to look just a little bit better. So, we run it. All right. Now, what we want to do next is that we want to uh, do it for each one of these other letters. So you got two choices. You can either recreate the animation for each one of them, or you can simply choose all of this, right-click on it, and choose Copy Motion. Select it all the way here, and then Paste. Then do the same thing for this one. Okay, as you can see, we've got an extra keyframe at the end. We want to delete that keyframe, so we're going to select all three of these, and then we're going to come over here and choose clear keyframe. 
and then we're also going to get rid of this ending right here now we've got this right here we want to select this one right here and then we want to move it over by hitting the F5 key and then this right here will stretch out our animation so that it looks like this So now when played, so what it looks like. So let's go ahead and add in a loop region. And then pretty neat. Okay, this is Wayne Barron with darkfix.net inside of Adobe Animate with a slight uh, selection bug on our symbols and with our bouncing text and a way to copy the motion and paste it to different layers. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.